Hello and welcome to this channel. In the first lecture, we have discussed what is econometrics, what are the steps in empirical analysis in the econometrics. Today, we are going to discuss what are the types of economic data set because the last step of econometrics analysis is collecting data and analyzing it. That's why we have to be familiar with different types of data sets that we frequently encounter in the field of econometrics. Basically, there are two types of data sets. One is cross-sectional, another is time series. These are the main two because if we understand these two, we will definitely understand the later two because pool cross-sectional and panel data set shares the feature of time series and cross-sectional. Let's explore these four types of data sets one by one. Cross-sectional data. A cross-sectional data set is the information of individual entities at a given point in time. We have to be very careful in this, this, this term terminologies. Given point in time. We cannot include data in a multiple year, multiple time span in the cross-sectional data set. If we do that, that won't be the cross-sectional data. It consists of sample of individuals, households, form, countries, and other units at a particular time, such as in a year, something, or such as in a month, or in a particular time of a day, like that. Let's see an example. Example of cross-sectional data, GDP of countries in year 2024. Here, the particular point in time is 2024, and here we included the individuals or the observation in the sample like that and these samples these observation have data of a particular point in time so in 2024 data of those countries and the gdp can be considered as an example of cross-section data let's explore time series data just opposite of the cross-sectional data it consists of data over time that's why if we want to add the information of in um, observation in um, over time we have to pick only one observation for example here in the cross-sectional data set we included the information of india nepal us and japan the information of gdp in a particular point in time. For example, if you want to explore from 2024 to 2030, then we cannot include all these. For example, if we want to see the GDP of India from 2024 to 2030, that will be our time series data. The example of time series data can be like this. GDP of USA over 2021 to 2024. That's why we excluded other countries, we only include USA here. So if data of USA from year 2021 to 2024 regarding GDP is an example of time series data. Let's explore panel or longitudinal data. Panel data shares the features of cross-sectional data and time series data. It consists of time series data of each member of cross section. Why I particularly mention that we cannot include other countries here because if we include those countries that will be the panel data. See, panel data consists of time series data of each member observation individual of cross section. If we have multiple time series of multiple members in the cross section that will be the panel data. Therefore, it is mentioned the member of Cross section should be similar over time. Let's see the example. GDP of USA and Nepal over 2021 to 2024 is the example of panel data. Here, the member of cross section are similar over time. Here also the member of cross section are similar over time. That's why this is a panel data. Pool cross section data. It uh, also shares the features of cross-sectional and time series data but a bit different than the panel data the most important difference is the member of cross-sectional will be different over time 
If we have cross-section data of a random sample at all point in time, and another cross-sectional data of random samples at another point of time, and the combination of these two data sets is called pool cross-section data. Therefore, if we have data of a random sample at a point in time, then if we again go for the random sample in another point in time, definitely the members of cross-section will be different. That's why this is the most important thing that uh, differentiate the panel and pool cross-section. But also I mentioned the most important thing is that the observation individuals of the samples should be different over time. Let's explore it with an example. Example of pool cross-section data. GDP of random countries in 2023 and another random countries in 2024 is example of pool cross-section. Because here is, this is a point in time. This is another point in time. And here the members are different. In 2024, we randomly select these four countries. And in 2024, we again did a random, random sample. And then we selected these different countries. The member of cross-section over time are different. But this is the combination of time series and cross-sectional. That's why it is the example of pool cross-section. Little bit different from the panel data. The difference is if the individuals or the observations are similar in uh, similar um, over time that is panel if the member of cross section are different over time that is pool cross section data i hope uh, i did my best to make you understand if you are still confused on something please drop in the comment section like comment and subscribe for more that will motivate me to make more videos thank you so much